Hello, good day. Today we'll be looking at Visual Basic. I'll be using the Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio IDE for an example. Briefly, I'll show you how you can understand the environment in Microsoft Visual Studio and how you can design some little things using the graphic user interface that is the windows application of sorry excuse me the windows application of microsoft visual studio here you have to know that microsoft visual studio is different from microsoft visual studio code so please is microsoft visual studio we are using the 2012 edition here, but you can use higher edition like the 2017 or whatever you have. Please, if you've already installed it, you go to your start menu and you search for Visual Studio. Like you can see in my start menu, I have Visual Studio, I have Visual Studio code. So I'm using Visual Studio, not Visual Studio code. I click on it to open. When it's open, then I have to come to file. I click on file. I go to new to create a new project. Now, I'm not going to the web view of it. I'm not going to the team project. Then I might go to file. I'm concentrating on projects, on projects. So I will show you how you can use the project, the GUI, the Windows project, and how you can use the console project. But in this video is the Windows project I will show you. So I click on projects. I want to create a new project. If you load, then once it comes up with this dialog box or with this box, I will choose on the left hand side. It have installed template. I will choose the language I wish to use, then I will choose the templates I want in that language. Like this is Visual Studio, Visual Basic language, and this is C Sharp language. This is C, Visual C++. So like as I was saying, you can change your language, choose your language, and in the language you have different templates. So I have Visual Basic here. I'm going for Windows application, Windows Form application. So I'll pick this Windows Form application. If I'm going for any other template, I will just have to pick the template here. So when I go to console application, you see I'll pick for console application and not on this aspect. I'll come to this place and pick console application so for this i'll change the term change it to online 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 tutorial online tutorial i'll click on ok i'll click on ok now why I click on OK, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio is creating for me the template. I have templates created, the Windows form created. I can enlarge it. Now, to bring out some visible properties, should we'll be making use of, you see, on my right hand side, I have the Solution Explorer. I'll have to bring it out. This is my Solution Explorer, which tells me everything about my solution all the forms i've created and the properties is in my solution explorer then what i make use more is the property properties these properties explorer i have it here good and on the right hand side i have what i make use of which is this this is the toolbox this is the toolbox i'll make use of very well so if those these side windows are not seen on your visual studio you can easily come
want to view, want to view, I see how you can bring them out. Solution Explorer, I click on this, it comes out. Then wherever I want, if I want the properties, windows, uh, look for to view, properties. Properties, properties, properties. I'm trying to get to view the whole of it. This is for the two books. I click the two books, it comes out. And this is for the object. For the object and everything. So, this, uh, let me go back to this. So, my two books are finished. This will pin it down. Then, for my properties, I pin this also. And I would also like to pin my solution explorer. So, I have both of them pinned just this way. Good. So, now on this form, I can change the properties here. I want to change this text on this side. I'll go to where I have not name in brackets, but you see, not this name for this place. You see, text. I'll change it to basic info. Basic info. Now you see, the text here has changed. I can also do other properties as we have then here. I can do other properties. Note that when you change this form, you are changing this form here. You are changing it and it might affect your, your, your program, your, your application. Please don't change that form. So on the toolbox, what I need is, I just come to this way, common windows, common control. And this is the common one. So this is what I'll use basically. So I'm gonna put a text box, a label for name. I'll drop it here. I click and drop. I can also double click. Uh, but when I click and drop, it arranges more. So I'll just come to text. Everything I'm changing it from where I see text. I see text, I change the apple's name. But this asks me that I'm not putting it out to some two number. Put first number, first number, good. Then on this place, I'll put second number. Okay. Now what else I need? I want the total. I want the total. So I, I want to use some artistic more, some of artistic uh, stuff as I come to the fonts. I have fonts on the properties. I have fonts, I come to the fonts. I can change it. I can change it, make it bold, change, change this. Um, just do this good i have this though just for tutorial so it's not beautiful what i'm doing then for text box i'll pick this this is a text box okay i'll pick good this is a text box because i can pick this also for the total good you see so i have these three text boxes i can increase Okay. Uh, for these goods, this is text was one, text was two, text was three. You see it on the property side. Uh, for this, I don't want anything to go through it. I'll make the this the enable first. I'll make it enabled first. I can make it read only. Read only is true. You can only read through it, but you can write. Okay. Then here yeah, I'll need a button. I come down, I see button. Okay, that is up here. I need a button for calculate so the calculate calculates calculate sum. So I have this this way. So for me to input my code, I just have to 
double click on this once i double click on this then normal declaration then first number as as text as the value value of text sorry as the value sorry text box text box moment okay sorry this is as integer integer okay so I have first number, second number, second number total as integer. So I have first number equals to equals to the value of text box one, text box one dot text. That's whatever I entered in text box one it gives me the value of it. Then second number equals to the val of text box two dot text. So I have total total equals to plus the first number plus second number good then i have uh text text was three dot text goes to total to string i save it now when i go to this to run the application i just have to click on this tab and you see it it comes up as it comes up i have to gain the first number which is 20 for example and the second number is this one three four i press calculate Calculate it gives me the total here. Okay, when I change this to 45, I come here, I change it to 1, and I have to click on calculate, it gives me 46. So, this is just a basic form, a basic form in a basic Windows form in Microsoft Windows. This I can close this, but I have a better way to end this. I can include a button here let me include three buttons i can include another button here i call it clear i call this clear clear all i call that clear then i include another button i call it end or close application close exit sorry let me use the word exit. Good. I can reduce this button. I can also reduce this button. I can also reduce this button. So I can have this closer. I have this also closer. Good. So in this clear, I have to just clear everything, which is uh, T text was one dot clear and text was one dot clear. So uh, for the clear button, I just clear all all the texts. Then for the application, I just application dot exit. Then you see. When I do search and I was able to type and I click on clear, 